Good morning and welcome to worship. This morning's service is led by Western Methodist Church with some help from me, Nikki Pennington, a local preacher in this circuit. First, a prayer of approach. Come, let us rejoice before God. Let us honour the name of the Most High. God has looked on us and brought us to be a people of light, celebrating the light. Our souls magnify God. Blessed is the name of God forever. Let us lift up holy hands and be glad. Amen. So we start our service this morning with the lighting of the Advent candles, with a little bit of help from our friends at Bishop's Offlay. We wait for the coming of Christ, giving life in abundance. Come, giver of life. The bread of life given for all people are sharing in the body of Christ. Come, giver of life. The desert shall rejoice and blossom abundantly. Rejoice and be glad in it. Christ shine in our world today.
we prepare you to work, welcome you into our world and our lives. During Advent, we prepare the things for Christmas. Help us prepare our hearts and lives. We know that you are always there with us, walking alongside all of us. Thank you for the closeness in these unusual times of separation and concern. Thank you for your love that surrounds us in all our preparations as we walk through this time of waiting. Amen. Jesus, Son of God and Son of Mary, you came among us, baptising with fire and light, calling us to the true vocation of humanity, to reflect the glory of our Creator. We thank you for your work among us and how you gathered, how you spoke, how you ate and drank, how you left your spirit to lift us up and to hold us in the light. We praise you because you came to us and you keep coming to us because of your great love. Amen. God, you hovered over chaos like a brooding hen, bringing order over chaos. But we, through thought, deed, misdeed and omission, have quenched the spirit of your of life that you gave us. We have turned our faces away and now we turn our faces back to you. Light of all light, God of all gods, and ask the light of your life to lift us again. Bring us out of the chaos and into the order of your creation for your name's sake, for the sake of your goodness among us. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the broken-hearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendour. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and iniquity. In my faithfulness, I will reward them and make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants will be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them will acknowledge that they are a people the Lord has blessed. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. 
For he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me with a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the soil makes the young plant come up and a garden causes seeds to grow, so the sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. Now, this was John's testimony when the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. Who are you? I am not the Messiah. What then? Are you Elijah? No. I know. I know. You're one of the prophets. No. Answer us. Who are you? We need an answer. I am the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, just as Isaiah said. Okay, so why then are you baptising if you are not the Messiah? Or Elijah, or the prophet? We just don't get it. I baptise with water. Among you stands one you, you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This event took place in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptising. son's advent calendar it's a where's wally one now if you haven't come across where's wally before the challenge is to find wally in the picture 
and Wally is a character who wears a red and white striped jumper. Now that's obviously quite a challenge in this picture where most of the pictures are little red and white Santas. Now my daughter considers herself a bit of an expert at Where's Wally. And she's right, she's really good at it. She can usually find him in just a few seconds. And when she finds him, she takes great delight in gleefully pointing out to the rest of us where he is. Now, I would love to point him out to you now but you know I can't remember where he is and I can't find him. So why am I telling you this? Well because today's reading from John reminds me a little bit of Where's Wally but rather than Where's Wally it's Where's the Messiah? John has been gathering crowds as he exhorts them to get ready to repent and be baptised and some Jewish leaders have started to wonder if he is the Messiah. So some are dispatched to go and ask him. And if you were to carry on reading in John, this is just a day before Jesus appears before John and asks to be baptised. So Jesus is already near. He's around. The Jewish leaders could actually have marched right past him, maybe even brushed shoulders with him, and not realise that the one they are looking for, the Messiah, is right before them. And I wonder, as we approach Christmas this year, this strange Christmas, this Christmas full of rules of what we can and can't do, this Christmas where we have to choose much more than usual who we will see, this Christmas where we can't go to church and sing carols, and we can't sit together and share the wonder of the nativity story together, this Christmas where more families than last year will be struggling and will be worrying about how they will put food on the table and where they will buy presents for their children. This Christmas where more than usual have a fear of the future. I wonder if within this we are also struggling to find the Messiah this Christmas. And as I reflected on this, I thought about how actually I feel I am striving to make sure we still have the joy in Christmas. And I wonder if you are as well. I don't think I'm on my own. But I think I can see others around me doing the same. There are those early birds who usually have their decorations up on the 1st of December. Some of them have them up the last week of November. And then on social media and other places, communities are encouraging each other to put up more lights, make more of a fuss of it. I've been taking part in an event organised in our community called Light Up Barksridge. People have been asked to decorate a window as a carol to try and spread a bit of Christmas joy. Now don't get me wrong, I think it's great how communities are coming together and trying to spread some of the Christmas joy. But the point is the joy, the deep joy we talk about as at Christmas and as Christians doesn't come from singing carols, lighting candles, having parties, giving presents, not even from eating turkey and pigs in blankets and dare I say it, Brussels sprouts. The joy we talk about comes from knowing the Messiah, from having a personal relationship with the Son of God and no one not even Covid can take that away from us. As a local preacher, I feel that one of my primary tasks is to point out Jesus to people. Like my daughter is an expert at finding Wally and loves to celebrate this by gleefully pointing him out to us. I am called to be an expert in finding Jesus and to celebrate this by gleefully pointing him out to others. And this Christmas, I would like to encourage you to do the same. Make yourselves experts at finding Jesus and gleefully pointing him out to others. And where can you find him? I don't think necessarily in all the trappings of Christmas. The reading we heard from Isaiah gives us some good pointers. And actually I debated for a while whether to have this reading before my talk or after. But then I realised with the wonder of technology, you can actually rewind and go and reflect on it again. 
So I encourage you to do that later. So where will we find Jesus? We will find him tending to the broken hearted. We will find him releasing captives. We will find him where relationships are rebuilding and being restored and renewed. Note also that this reading says the spirit of the Lord is on me. He calls me to bring good news. So we can join in with this. We are not called to be just the passive identifiers of Jesus, but with God's spirit within us, we can become a part of sharing Jesus with others. It's not just about pointing Jesus out. It's about sharing him. We are called to be a part of the sharing of the good news, comforting the broken hearted, renewing and restoring relationships. And within all of that, then, we can find Jesus the Messiah and the joy that he brings to our hearts. And then with that, then we can go out and delight and gleefully share the joy of Jesus with others this Christmas. Prayers of Intercession. We join together in our prayers of intercession for others and for ourselves. Heavenly Father, at this time of Advent, we pray for our world. We pray today for all who are downtrodden, all who are oppressed, and all who know the heavy hand of marginalisation upon them. May all who are oppressed be set free. We ask this in joy and gratitude. At this time of Advent, we pray for our country. We pray today for all who are fearful about the future as the coronavirus pandemic continues and as we loosen our ties with Europe at the turn of the year. May all who are in fear find peace. We ask this in joy and gratitude. At this time of Advent, we pray for our church. We pray today for all who are sharing the joyful message of Christmas with those who are lonely and in need, to bring them hope and reassurance. May all who are lonely and in need find comfort. We ask this in joy and gratitude. At this time of Advent, we pray for our local communities, families and friends. We pray today for all who are struggling to balance the many conflicting priorities of life amongst the framework of new rules to control the pandemic. May all who are overwhelmed find a clear path. We ask this in joy and gratitude. And finally, at this time of Advent, we pray for ourselves. We pray today that as we journey through the week ahead, you may support us using words on St. Patrick's breastplate from the 9th century book of Armagh. Power of God, be our protection. Wisdom of God, be our guide. Word of God, be our inspiration. Shield of God, be our defence. Son of God, be our salvation. Now and always. Amen.
before we have the blessing, I would like to invite you to join us again next week when Jean Harrison will be leading us with help from all of our churches in our circuit, in our circuit chat carol service. We'll look forward to seeing you then. So a blessing. Gathered in, Lord, we have been nurtured by your spirit of life. Now, sent out, we go in the assurance that your word lasts forever and your promises are true. Let the lowly be lifted up. Let the hungry be fed. Let the mighty listen. God, who is merciful, hears all. Come, let us go in the blessed joy of God's kindness. <laughs>